What's up guys, Magic Knives here, and this is a Beast Beast knife, on, knife and Spike Drone only gameplay on the map Ascend. So I'm kill confirmed. I managed to get 40 plus kills in this game. This is a new personal record. I'm going to say that, that now. This is a new personal record that I have set for myself. And Ascend is probably one of my favorite maps in Advanced Warfare, so... I can. Uh, I've been. I've gotten a few game. I have another gameplay saved up in my video files that I will bring to you in the near future, hopefully. And everything in this every in this game, everything was just on point. Like my exo movement was on point, my spike droning and my knifing timing and stuff like that. And I'll be honest with you. Like back when I used to upload on my on my main channel for like during the black ops 2 days i actually had a a gameplay a knife only swarm gameplay on the map nuketown i had a total of 60 kills but that was in domination and some of the kills were from were from swarm so i had a, maybe about 40 to 50 kills in that game with on, with the knife only so i can't remember exactly so technically that should have that that gameplay should have been my my personal best, but uh, uh, for just to just to be fair, I'll say this is my personal best with the knife and 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 in kill confirm because to be honest with you, with people getting fifty plus kill games in domination, although or a hundred plus kills, although it look although it seems impressive, the fact that it's an objective game and the the player usually the player who gets that gameplay don't care about the objective they just focus on getting the, the getting up the most amount of kills so of course it's much easier to get that many kills and plus there's no time limit really in domination so not to like ha not to say that it's not that impressive it it is in a way but it's kind of cheap so that's why I find like Getting high kill games in like TDM or kill confirm is much more impressive in my opinion, but that's just my take on the whole thing. So, but anyways, as you are enjoying this this beast gameplay in the background, I'm not spoiling the the final score right now. You'll just have to watch until the very end. We're gonna talk about the the DNA bomb today. That's what I'm gonna do now. <sighs> In the past, in back in the Modern Warfare 3 days, I had a total of two Modern Warfare 3 Moabs. Two knife only Moabs. I've had one Moab shooting, and I've had eight knife only swarms back in the Black Ops 2 days as well. And on um, in COD Ghosts, I had one Michael Myers 26 kill streak chem strike, which not a real chem strike, but it's, it's, it's a good sec. It was a good second for me, which you know I still kind of. It was still unfortunate for me that I wasn't able to pull off a a real knife only chem strike in COD Ghost. But you know, with COD Ghost being a very frustrating game for me, with Riley the stupid dog and the the f stupid IEDs. Those were just so annoying, and I I just couldn't I I couldn't handle it. I the the highest amount of, the highest kill streak I had in COD Ghosts with the normal knife was a 20 kill streak, and I actually tied that with a Predator kill streak as well. But unfortunately, that's as close as I ever got to a real knife only camp strike. Now, currently, as as I speak right now, the highest kill streak I had have in advanced warfare is an 18 kill streak. Now with the game types that I, I like to play, TDM, kill confirmed and search and rescue, it that that chance of getting such a kill streak is obviously reduced. So and it goes back to the whole domination thing and why people why those why players like to play domination is because it gives them a better chance of getting a, a moab or a or dna bomb in this case so that's usually and that's 
in those cases, those were the only reasons why I would play DNA, why I would play Domination. So, but usually I would try to challenge myself to get a DNA bomb just playing my t my typical or my usual game types. Unfortunately, though, with with how they set up this DNA th bomb in Advanced Warfare, 30 kills for me is just little is just too high for me and again like my high the highest amount of kills that I've gotten my highest kill streak is 25 and that was shooting for and that was the shooting mod that I got in in Modern Warfare 3 and you know that's the closest thing I got and fortunately right there I was trying to find my spike drones and I lost my concentration there and the dude ended my 11 kill streak so very sad that it's very unfortunate right there but <coughs> yeah with advanced warfare I honestly really li like like knifing in advanced warfare it's just with s only it's only very small things such as not being able to unlock the tack knife without shooting and with this DNA bomb it's it's really nothing to me but it's just kind of unfortunate that you have to get 30 kills in a row to get a DNA bomb not to say that it's not impressive or anything or it challenges people to, to to get a DNA bomb I mean there are have been a few knifers out there that have managed to pull it off you know get the full knife and spike drone only DNA bomb and so unfortunately I just don't quite have that skill to pull one off and it, it really s it, it kind of it's it kind of saddens me in a way that you know the knife the modern knifers in the in the knifing community don't go for these types of things anymore i mean back in the modern warfare three days a lot of you'd see a lot of knifers posting mw3 moabs and stuff and they would showcase it on their channel get lots of credit for being a good knifer and I think those were the real those were the true times where it would show true knifing skill. I mean nowadays the most knifers in the community are just focusing on the feeds. And although it is fun to watch and although it is impressive, it's kind of just the display of the wrong skill. And I really wish more knifers would try to go for that skill even if they can't, you know. So but that's just my overall thoughts on the DNA bomb and stuff. I had two more guys in front of me, could have gotten an extra two kills, but I got a pretty embarrassing <laughs> final kill cam here. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I went 42 and 9 in this game. Really, really beast gameplay. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you guys in my future videos, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.